you know, be under no illusions. I mean, if you if if you're running a small insurgent political party, there is no room in your life for anything else. And you know, Richard Tice, who so ably assisted me as chairman of the Brexit party, you know, he is going to take on a massive responsibility. I mean, he will he, he will have very little time for anything else. It's a heck of a tough job. I think I've more than done my bit. Um, but yeah, influencing debate. I want to go and do that. Running a political party, I'm done. How will people react to this, do you think? Well, some will be disappointed, obviously. Um, I, you know, I know that. I know that some people will say, oh, you know, we want you to stay on. But, but, but you know, my response to all of them, you know, will be, look, you know, this has taken away the better part of my adult life. Actually, you know, the bit that you see as a journalist, you know, is me sitting in a green room or me being on a stage. Now, what you don't see is actually what it's like to run a political party. You know, Boris Johnson's never done that. Keir Starmer's never done that. You know, when, when you are an insurgent, anti-establishment group, the people at the top have to raise the money, you know, organise the discipline, do the whole thing. Um, and, and, and I, you know, I'm done. I'm done. So I'm sorry to those who are disappointed. As I say, I'm not going to go away from fighting the big battles of the day but I think I can do that through media and social media just as effectively. Are you saying you didn't enjoy running UKIP and then the Brexit party? Do you remember that, that, that row that hit the headlines the other week, the parish council meeting? You have no authority here. Yeah. Where well, they were all shouting at each other. I take charge. He was like that in UKIP every month. <laughs> <laughs> For 25 years with the NEC. Chris, I mean... But you had the authority, Nigel. You had the authority. I know, but just the aggro of dealing with... 